Divorce lawyers of Reddit. What's the most outrageous reason someone filed for divorce? My aunt was dating an unemployed dude for a while. He was staying in her house rent free. They got married and were getting ready to go on the honeymoon when the new husband tells her he's not going because he has to take care of his plants at the house. Big fight. Aunt goes on the honeymoon with her sisters instead. She comes home and tries to kick him out of her house, he refuses to leave. She tries to get the police involved. Dude is live streaming on Facebook how he is being trapped in his own home. Police tell my aunt there is basically nothing they can do, can file for eviction after a divorce. Dude gets to live in her house with his precious plants for like three months until everything legally gets worked out. Paralegal, here. There's so many crazy divorces and divorce will bring out the absolute worst in couples. When thinking of reasons a divorce started, this one stands out to me the most. At my last firm we did general law, which included probate. A couple did their will with our firm. We drafted everything, they were mid-70s to early 80s. Married 40 years total. Divorced and remarried once. Husband wanted us to put in his will that his kids get his entire estate, but did not want us to tell his wife. He wanted to have us make a secret will and a fake will. The fake will would be signed with her present, and then he wanted us to shred it and he will come in later to sign the real will. He copied his wife on the email that had all of this information disclosed in it. Two weeks later he called us and said he wanted to file for divorce instead. Bonus 1. A previous client was pissed his wife was cheating on him. She wanted a non-contested divorce and wanted to use my boss specifically because she knew he was a great lawyer. He pretended to go along with her terms and contacted us literally two days before his wife and retained us. He said he didn't care how much money the retainer was but wanted my boss so his wife couldn't have him as a lawyer. He called and paid first, so he won that battle. My ex and I had agreed to do mediation for our divorce instead of going with lawyers. He went out and met with all the best lawyers in town before choosing the biggest shark around. Then he had me served with papers out of the blue. We live in a relatively small town, I had to scramble to find a decent lawyer, since he had consulted with all the local lawyers, I was unable to retain anyone I ended up with one that worked in a neighboring town. My mom had to put the retainer down for me because my ex had liquidated all our bank accounts and reported all the credit cards we shared as stolen. I had been a stay-at-home mom for 10 years, so I wasn't making any money at that time. It was a nightmare. Kind of in the same category, I've had a lot of younger male potential clients come in for divorce consults with their mother. Then, during the consult, the mother does 98% of the talking, and it's clear who actually wants the divorce. I'll usually escort mom to wait in the lobby while I talk to the son directly, and most of the time he's just there to appease his mother. On a related note, I once had just the mother call for a consult because she said explicitly she wanted her son to get a divorce. I politely informed her that's not how divorces worked. Edit, because I apparently don't know how to italicize things on Reddit anymore. Not a lawyer but I have I've been aching to tell this story for a while. So this girl I went to school with, marries this rich guy from Ohio. She moves in with him and they seem to get along well. Six months later she files for divorce. Up to that point, all I've heard from her was how good it was going. Anyways, it turns out our buddy had a fetish for going off on urine. He asked her to urinate on him in the tub. At first she agrees to it as she thought it was a one-time thing. But he kept asking for it more and more. She tried to decline it respectfully but he wouldn't get any of the hints. She finally used the tub being too small as a reason. Next day she comes home with two dozen construction guys and their heavy equipment tearing the bathroom walls. A week or so later, they finish up the bathroom. She comes home to a sign left on the fridge with a note to drink up, she got some watering to do. I don't know what exactly she put down as the official reason in the paperwork but that was definitely her biggest reason to walk out of that relationship. Oh I forgot to add, he also wanted to bring a horse to do the deed as well and at times, asked her to make animal sounds while she stood on top of him. My 90 year old client, the husband, and his son retained me to initiate divorce proceedings with his 88 year old wife. They'd been married 60 years. The wife had recently taken to beating him with his own cane, because their daughter poisoned her into thinking he was hiding money from them. 
The battle came down to husband and son versus wife and daughter. At their first court appearance, my client showed up in an old 1950s style pinstripe suit and fedora. He was a farmer his whole life, and this was clearly the only suit he owned. He was such a meek and lovely old gentleman. I had to pass my client on to a new lawyer midway through the proceedings because I accepted a job in a different country, but I understand the divorce was eventually granted. I represented a porn actress slash webcam model who filed for divorce from her husband who also did the porn slash webcam model business. He would do gay porn on the side because the pay was better. She was hesitant about it, but dealt with it because the pay was decent. Both sides had an agreement that it wasn't cheating as long as it was for work. One day she came home early and found her husband in bed with two men, they were not filming, that was too much for her. Needless to say, the old conservative judge couldn't wrap his head around this one.